championship pose. It's a championship day. Do the Heisman too. Do the Heisman. Yeah. I'm gonna get the Heisman right. The Heisman pose right there. Undefeated Maxwell. When women left me, they left with nothing. No child support, no alimony. 45, they left with no child support or alimony. I'm here, the roasting cook. Here to keep my boot on the single mom's neck and the, the bullshitting bitch's neck. I said, welcome to my little show, Life of a Bachelor. I'm the host, James Midtown. Go to my high tech studios. <clears throat> oh, okay, today, um, title of my show is going to be called It Ain't Bashing If I'm Telling the Truth. <gasps> okay. To um, a lot of my female relatives, um, you know, this goes out to uh, a lot of my female relatives. You know, I I could get the damn what all these other these other hoes think or whatever. You know, okay. But um, but to the female relatives, you know, I love y'all just to say. I mean, you know, um, but. Uh, you know, even my mother, you know, I think she takes some of these videos hard, you know, is 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 that uh when she types she won't hear you talk about no female. You know, she won't hear you talk about no female, uh whether they wrong, they right, right, they wrong, you know, this or that. But uh a lot of women felt that way until the year two thousand. Two thousand is a the year two thousand was significant because that's around the time when YouTube came out. I believe around two thousand. And uh, now, you know, black men didn't have a voice. You know, now we got a voice. Now you, you have a lot of, of men who, um, who are on YouTube shaking their fists, calling out women bullshit. You got a lot of brothers on YouTube right now calling out black women bullshit. You know, why we single out black women? Because, you know, that's my that's mostly what all I dated. So so I, I got to judge them by their record. You know, uh when a cop pull you over or or, or, or the white man judges, you know, they, they see on the news or whatever, they always judge you by your record. Okay, well, just like the bullshitting women, I'm gonna judge you by your record. You know, now now now, now to my mother, my and this my sisters. Uh, you know, this ain't got nothing to do with y'all. My female cousins, all of that, this ain't got nothing to do with y'all now. You know, so, you know, my videos, you know. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's just my warning to, you know, to the female relatives or whatever. You know, this, uh, just the high tech studios. The new, the new jeans, the, uh, Okay, so uh, oh, no, I'm preaching. Go to the high tech studios. Let me, let me, let me cook. Let me, let me. You finna preach? Getting hot in here. The studio lights. <laughs> yeah, get hot too. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, I know a lot of people don't know, okay, law enforcement uh, has uh, only been around since about, the, I think about the late 1800s, early 1900s, one, one, one of them, but uh, post-slavery, uh, post rather slavery let, let out, there wasn't no law enforcement, and during around that time, or even during slavery, you know, if uh, the black man, back in them days, if, 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 if a brother 
if, if, if a sister didn't want to let a man lead or she felt that uh, he was dogging them out, they used, to, they used to call the Ku Klux Klan on you. Now, that's a little secret that women don't want to get out. Yeah, they used to call the Klan on your ass, black men. You know, so... Um, Uh, also, uh, well, I do got a bit of a chip on my shoulder. I mean, I do got a, not, not, not a chip on my shoulder, I would say. You know, I'm, I'm a little, I don't know what you, if, 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 if you would, um, I don't know if you would call it bitter or, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't say just bitter, but I remember the bullshit back in 2007, uh, I got falsely accused of, of, of a, of a carjacking. A black female accused me of this. How in the, how in the, how in the fuck? I'm, I'm, I'm living here in Memphis. If the guy took your car on Mendenhall and I stayed on Getwell, what the fuck? What, what the fuck the cops doing at my house? And when you can't, you ain't pulling me off no steering wheel or nothing. You know, um, female, I had to sit downtown 16 months for nothing. I beat the case. I beat it and everything. But I had to sit downtown 16 months for nothing. Okay. At the end of the preliminary hearing, uh, this was to say he was a light-skinned guy. Uh, well, more caramel complexion. I wouldn't say, you know, I'm not dark, but I ain't, I'm not, what she described me, sound like I'm a red guy, you know, or something, you know. But anyway, uh, okay. She said he had on a white hoodie. Wasn't no white hoodie found in my house. You know, I was living on Getwell at the time, on the other side, on the east side of Memphis at the time. Wasn't no white hoodie in my house. Okay. Uh, she said he had a black gun. Mine was, was my, the gun I had was silver at the top and black at the bottom. You know, but this was to still press the issue and still going to pull me out and say I did this shit. You know, I didn't get no, uh, I'm sorry or nothing when I beat the case. No sorry or none of that. So, make a long story short, here I am now, calling out black women bullshit. Preach, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, I take studios, now let me. You preach now. Hot in here. I'm finna cook. I'm finna start cooking now. Got to give y'all this work. Got to, got to, got to give y'all getting work. Uh, okay. Uh, so you know you got a lot of bullshit. You know a lot of the sisters here on, but you know uh, I'm gonna get into another show. So I'm gonna try to help you. Like you say, I'm like your big brother. I just want y'all to do better, uh, or whatnot, uh, okay, uh, also we're going to another topic, okay, the average net worth of a black woman is five dollars, five dollars, now you wonder why a lot of these brothers are going with, to these, to these white women, uh, a lot of north, of north, they dating white women, out west, they, they, they marrying, uh, Latino, Women, well, Mexican women, Latino women, what are out west, up north, it's the white women. They marry the white women. Okay, now you, uh, the, um, the marriage rate in the black community is about like what thirty eight percent, somewhere around that thirty eight percent or whatever. You know, used to be like eighty some percent back in the fifties and sixties and shit. See, back then, you no, know, you 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 had to marry a woman just to get some back then. But nowadays, you know, pussy so readily available available that why get married especially if you got money you know, why why split half of your empire cheaper to pay the child support instead of paying child support and alimony uh, you know so what's um michael jordan example wife got him for uh, 450 million Took, took the house, the car, 
uh, took, took the houses, the cars, the, the kids, uh, took the lake. This, this whole thing took the lake. Yeah, so, uh, so, you know, uh, like I said, if, you know, if, I, if I'm rich, you know, like your Gotti, you know, he's from Memphis, you know, you know, smart enough, best big decision you ever made in the world not to get married. 50 Cent, said the same thing, one of the best, one of the best business decisions he ever made not to get married. You can say, why, why split half your empire? Pay the child support, keep it moving, okay, you know, I'm the type, you know, when it get grown, okay, yeah, holler at me, you know, you know, I'm on the move too much, you know, be raising kids, you know, so, too much be, you know, holler at me when you get grown, we can kick it, we can go chop it up, you know. Supposed to have two twins out here, but uh, they should be grown by now. But if I run into them or this or that, you know, we chill out. You know, we go chop it up, go to the bar, go have something to drink, and kick it. You know. Uh, so, um, like I said, the average net worth of black woman is only five dollars. You can Google it, research it, whatnot. And uh, a lot of brothers are dating out their race. You know, they they uh. Basically, you know, you got the white woman tapping on all cylinders. Good job, good credit, uh, submissive. You know, a lot of you know, a lot less submissive than sisters. So you know, you got to, you know, no, no black women they got to come on with it. You, you got to come on with it. You know, we we no, we don't have to take this bullshit. You know, we got other options. You know. Uh, with, with, with some of the Midtown guys, you know, they and rather take on they like me and rather take on bullshit. Just stay single and just uh, pump and dump. Uh, uh, just uh, don't throw them something, you know. Might have to trick off a little this or that, you know. To, you know, I look at his uh, setting them on. You know, and uh, most of the hood, most of the hood sisters, you know. It was, a lot of them don't know what they do doing. You can bury or feed them or whatnot, you know. But that is an alternative to being into a bull. I feel that that's an alternative to being in a bullshit relationship. With Minister Jap and uh, what is that, Steve the Bitch Williams? Steve the Dean Williams. I call him Steve the Bitch Williams. They they look down on the Midtown community. They talk shit about the Midtown guys. What, what that means, men going your own way. Uh, they look down on, on buying, um, what you call it, tricking off or whatever, or this or that. But, uh, I think it's some beauty in it. It's, it's, it's a little beauty. You don't have to deal with no relationship. You just, you get what you want. They get what they want. You get to send their ass home. You ain't got no woman in your ear. You get to do, follow your dreams, do what you want to do. Uh, perfect example, one guy, you know, I was listening to the internet, uh, he wanted to be a race car driver, you know, he wanted to race cars, you know, when he had a woman, he couldn't do it, he stayed up in too much of her bullshit, and he couldn't follow his dreams, okay, he got rid of her, went midtown, uh, that don't mean he gay or nothing, you know, he, he probably just threw a woman, you know, tricked off with a woman here or there, or, or the pump and dump, the old fashioned pump and dump, just one night stand, you know, see ya, you know. Uh, 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 see, uh, out of there, you know. But uh, anyway, uh, he got into uh, that movie, and next thing you know, he, he was something like Daryl Ar Daryl uh, Arnhart. How you pronounce his name? Arnhart or whatever it is. You know, he racing cars and, you know, doing his dream. When you go midtown, you got time for yourself. I'm going to have time for myself. I want to get in shape, everything, you know, get rid of my gut. I'm working on that now. It's a lot, a lot of goals and stuff that uh, I plan to do, too, now that I'm single, you know. Well, I've been single since 06. It's been a long time. Uh, we, we go cook. We go cook. I take studios. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going on 
to uh, the kids out of wetlock. Uh, okay, a lot of a lot of black women being called out about uh, too many kids. Too many black women got kids out of wetlock. And you wonder why you're not married. You know, no man wants to take that on all the time. You know, you got two and three and four kids by different niggas and wondering why no guy don't want to marry. You know, guy like me, me, like me myself, you know, I'm not going to take that on. I already know that that's a loss. That's a losing situation. So, um, uh, they did a statistic in Tennessee. It's... Three guys in Tennessee. Three guys in Tennessee has seventy-five kids all together between all three of them, all out of wetlock by different women. So you see what's going on in Tennessee. So uh, what 80, 80 some percent of black women are single mothers, and uh, actually the stereotype of men that that uh, men have kids all the way to only about twenty percent of the eighty twenty rule. You know, only 20% of black men got kids. Well, no, no, I think that's, oh, I got a little research. I think only 40%, 40% of black, 40% of black men don't have kids. I'm sorry about that. Okay, now, uh, so what that tells me, you know, you got, you, you, you have uh, black women getting impregnated by the same dude, by the same nigga, over and over and over and over. So, um, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm here to call out the bullshit. You know, I just want to see what we do better. You know, like I said, it's not bashing if I'm telling the truth. Remember, it's not bashing if I'm, no, it's not bashing if I'm telling the truth. My female relatives, my mother, whatever, it's not bashing if I'm telling the truth. You can Google. Google these statistics. Like I say, it ain't bashing if I'm telling the truth. Uh, okay. Let's see, High Tech Studios. We don't cook, but we still cooking. But these are some of the reasons why uh, a lot of sisters are single. Too many kids, bad attitude. Average net worth five dollars. Uh, I mean, you know, if I if I did have a son, I would I would I would advise him don't marry nothing over here in the U.S. If you if you go if you especially if you go marry a black woman, yeah, well, if, if, I wouldn't advise him not to marry a black woman. If you go marry a black woman, get one overseas, either one from a uh, Dominican Republic or, or Brazil somewhere, somewhere you know. Well, the women are more submissive and they're going to do what you say. So, you know, that's just my opinion, you know. But uh, I'm working on that myself, you know. Maybe I, I might, uh, I'm, I'm trying to see about getting one of these male order brides. <laughs> getting a male order bride or something like that or something overseas. But but I doubt if I ever marry a black woman, you know, from the U.S. You know, I'm very doubt it, yeah. But, uh, but uh, if y'all like my work, you can send money to my GoFundMe at uh, www.gofundme www.gofundme.com uh, slash life of a bachelor dash come made an error on the end with the dash but it will still get through the same but we don't cook we don't Small in the mission right here. It's my back. That's my back breaks right here. My grandmama gave me them pillows. But yeah, that's www. GoFundMe.com slash Life of a Bachelor dash com.